Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while. Let me explain what's going on. So I love creating costumes and I love sewing and I love the part where I get to try everything on and I like even filming it. It's just editing is such a struggle, which is why this video is six months late. So better late than never, right? Anyway, what I'm doing today is showing you how I made my Victorian Snow White. The whole process was really fun that I started out with just saying, you know, what if Snow White, Victorian, Hmm, I don't know. We have five days before we leave for Dragon Con. Maybe it'll look good. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But I had nine yards of this amazing taffeta that I picked up in London last year. And right... I was in love with this stuff. So I just quickly started putting it together. I'm using the Truly Victorian pattern with a lot of different tweaks to it. And I'm just sitting here pleating this by hand. Now everyone has their own method on how they do this. I usually just eyeball it. It just makes more sense than I count up the other side and I try to make them match. But you know, again, if they don't match, it doesn't have to be perfect. I try my best, but whatever. So yeah, I don't have a chemise here. It's somewhere. I was too lazy to go find it. And my corset, just before anyone does say anything, it is loose just because I'm going to be walking around a cosplay convention. So that was on purpose. This is me trying to measure and mark everything by myself. This is always the fun part. It's the hardest part. And then I found this amazing yellow fabric, which I'm so in love with. It screams Snow White. Now it was supposed to be for a totally different renaissance cosplay and I thought you know what no no this this is snow white I am normally super good at leaving myself extra fabric I use scraps on this project I cut my skirt out very carefully and I had to piece different parts of this thing together using my scraps so here I am with my light box and I'm just trying to trace out those darts again very carefully because I did not have any extra fabric. You can see these are just my scraps. And I really like to use Truly Victorian when I'm making Victorian costumes just because I've made them so many times. I know how they're going to fit me. And if you don't have help, which sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In this case, I didn't have anyone to help me. I fit everything from the front. So I left the back kind of where I knew it was going to go, where my grommets and my eyelets were going to go. And I started fitting everything from the front, which means that I could adjust everything. And then I just took it off, tried it on with the right side facing out. And that was, that was a little bit of a process. I saw someone do this on TikTok and I was like, I'm going to try this and actually it worked out really well. I got the hang of it eventually, but it worked out really good. So all I'm doing is just marking. I had a little bit of extra seam allowance left over, which I was like kicking myself for, but oh well. And then here I am just trying to pin everything together. I'm going to sew the neckline and then flip it, which is one of my favorite methods of doing this. I try to be really good and give myself enough time to get my projects done, but I don't know what it's been about the like last six things where I have been sewing at midnight trying to get stuff done. So I need to start trying to time these things better. I clocked in at 1230 doing this project and I was like, you know what, maybe it's time to go to bed. This was my lining. I was so proud of how beautiful the inside was. Yeah, no one is going to see it, but I just had to show you. And here's where I start decorating. This was my favorite favorite part. I got to just be as creative as I want. I pulled up a couple of different bodices from the House of Worth and then I kept thinking how am I going to make this translate to Snow White and I just started sewing that trim on. Can we skip to the good part? Oh, it doesn't actually work that way so <laughs> now I get to sew all these together for my straps. So basically what I'm gonna do with my sleeve is I'm going to put my three lines of gathering that I'm going to gather like this. Then I'm going to take my trim that I finished right here and I'm going to make this. Here I am the day before. I only have one sleeve in. I just kept struggling with this front drape. I could not get those pleats right. And I finally just had to say, you know what, just leave it. Because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have a one sleeve. And I'm going to walk around Dragon Con and I'm going to look silly. But guess what? I finished it. And here she is. I am beyond proud of this thing. It was my total brainchild. I just dreamed her up. And I just said, I'm going to make this work. The colors everything just 
I love it. I felt so amazing wearing it. And every time someone came up and said, oh my God, are you Snow White? But like Victorian, it just made my little heart so happy. And this was my getting dressed video. And I think you could tell how happy I was just because I never stopped smiling. And I think that's the best part about cosplay is you can just become whoever you want. You can just let your entire creative spirit just burst free and do whatever you want. And this, this is what I did. I just wanted to go out there and make something that I was proud of. And I am so proud of her. I hope you enjoy this making video. And I promise it will not take me six months to get the next one out there. Have a wonderful day and go out there and be creative and just have an amazing time.